If you truly want to improve your serve, if you're interested in mastery and want to get to the next level, you've got to stay in the phone booth when you serve. Now, what the heck am I talking about with this phone booth thing and how it relates to your serve? Well, I'm going to explain it all in this lesson and show you exactly what you need to do to maximize your serve efficiency so that you can improve your power, consistency, and accuracy. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world, also known as the Serve Surgeon, because I go in with my scalpel and I bring you the details that matter, the details that actually work that can help you get to the next level. And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about this concept called the phone booth. And this is one that is helping so many players worldwide, so many players that I personally work with are getting added benefit by focusing on the phone booth at a specific phase of their swing. Now, let me explain what's going on here and what the real problem is. Players, when they serve, are not getting into a great trophy position. So what does it look like? I see a lot of players, when they go to their trophy position, they're their hand is too far away from their body or their head. Their elbow is often too low like this. And even if they get their elbow in the right place or in the right height, then they cock their hand or their wrist like this and the racket actually looks like this. I see players going to this position to serve. So there's way too much tension in the wrist. There's way too much tension in the arm. The arm is too straight. The hand is too far away from the head. It causes a lot of problems. It limits your ability to drop the racket. You're going to feel a pinch back here. You're going to have a poor racket drop. Uh, you're not going to be able to get that elastic power, that easy power, by having your arm be a wet noodle. <laughs> you need your arm to be a wet noodle and relax, and you need to get it into the right natural biomechanical position that gives you the best chance of adding power to your serve with the least amount of effort. It's technique, 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 technique. It is so important to improve your mechanics and to get to the right position. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the throwing motion. So if I grab a ball, <clears throat> if I'm a quarterback, okay, if I'm playing football, if I grab a ball I want to get to this position right here. Now you see how my hand is very close to my head or my ear right here. You also see how my lower arm and my upper arm create a close to a 90 degree angle. It can be a little bit less. I typically don't like it more. I like it in at 90 degrees right here. This is a great position. Now if you add the turn, this is what it should look like right here. Okay, now if I pick up my racket, if I pick up my racket and I find that throwing motion, Look at where my racket is. Most players are back in here. Now, how does this happen? If this is the natural place to be, why does the racket get back here? Why does the elbow drop down? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, a lot of players don't know how to throw a ball properly. Never learned how to throw a ball from this position. Maybe it's a push. Maybe players rear back and get far away like this. You want to be in tight. You want to be in close. Okay, that's one reason why players don't find this position. Another reason is players are so used to serving from a full motion, they start in the full motion and then when they get back to trophy position, they can't find this position. They're back in here. Okay, the elbow's low or they have this wrist cocked. It's all because they started here. So I recommend that if you really want to learn how to get to a proper trophy position and learn this phone booth drill or phone booth tip, I should say, you can start already in the phone booth, which I'm about to explain in a moment. You want to start with your hand close in this throwing motion like this so that when you toss the ball, you're in this beautiful trophy position with the hand really close. Now I mentioned it earlier. The next thing you need to make sure that you're doing besides get into a proper throwing motion is make sure you're at a 90 degree angle with your arms. Okay, Your lower arm and your upper arm have to be at this 90 degree angle like this. This is so critical to the success of your serve. It's much easier to lay the racket back when you go to drop the racket to be here than if you're back in here. Now other players that get in real close, this is also easier to drop. Players will go here if they're not able to drop it from this 90 degree angle position. So you've got to get in a great throwing motion and you've got to get this 90 degree angle 
uh, with your lower arm and your upper arm to make this work for you as efficiently as possible. The next thing I want you to focus on is when you get to this position, I want you to feel like your racket is more vertical. And again, I talked about this before, but the racket, when you get to this trophy position, it needs to be more vertical up and down. Too often, I see players, again, in this position with the racket more horizontal. And this is happening because, again, this wrist crease, this wrist is curled like this. You actually want to have your wrist neutral or slightly fl floppy or slightly relaxed like this. So you're essentially putting the racket in your hand with the, with the, the, the uh, racket vertical and a slight relaxation in the wrist. You don't want to be like this. You don't want to be, you don't want to be too relaxed, okay? But the racket can be more straight up and down in this position instead of like this. This is huge. Most players are gripping tight. They're in this position. You want to be here, vertical. The next thing is you want your tossing arm to be totally straight. You've got to get the tossing arm totally straight to get in the phone booth, okay? This is your phone booth right here. We're finally here. After all this teaching about the phone booth and the concept of throwing the ball and getting in the 90 degree angle, this is the phone booth. You're essentially staying in the phone booth. If the racket gets out here, you're out of the phone booth. You fell out of it. You're away from it. Everything needs to be tighter and more compact. Your arms are going to be relaxed, but they're going to be close to each other like this. The, the tossing arm is close to the head. I'm sorry. The dominant arm, the dominant hand is close to the head here, and the tossing arm is close to the head. Everything is close. And finally, the little cue that I give players is I want players to feel like the tossing hand and the racket tip are going to touch. Now, we don't want it to be like this where the elbow's too high. But most of the time, I see players with a low elbow and with a cock wrist somewhere in this position here. So we got to get that elbow up, we got to get that wrist relaxed, and we need to feel like they're going to touch up here. And most of the time, if I tell players to feel like they're going to touch the, the hand with the racket tip, the elbow will actually get in the right spot. If you have a high elbow, you probably don't want to focus on this tip of touching. I just see a lot of players very disconnected with the racket really far back in this position, and they even think they're in a good trophy position. They're not, okay? They don't look like Roger Federer here. We want you to look compact and efficient when you get to that position. So I'll hit a serve here, and I want you to notice that position I get to, okay? Just pay attention to that position, okay? I'll do another one here. I was so focused on the position, I didn't hit a great serve. I'm going to hit a better serve here. That felt a lot better. And now I'll do one in slow motion. So that's what I want for you to do. I want you to focus on finding that phone booth and practice the tips that I gave you today. Work on it. See if you can develop that efficient phone booth position. It's going to make a world of difference for your serve and allow you to accelerate up to the ball and get that easy power that you're looking for. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I had a blast making it for you. This is cutting edge, deep, detailed work on getting your serve dialed in. And I want you to share this video if you think someone can benefit from it. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us your comments and questions below. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and your notifications are turned on. I loved making this video for you. Before you go today, I got a free gift for you. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to get our free instructional course that's inside the Tennis Evolution app. We've got lessons on the serve, the forehand, double strategy, single strategy, and footwork. It's all in there to help you accelerate your learning. It's the next step on your journey, so go ahead and click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video. We're going to help you improve your game, and we will see you at the next lesson.